everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet the easiest worsted scarf ever. In this tutorial, I'm going to be doing the medium length scarf. It is about 65 inches long. For a shorter and longer version, please check out my written pattern. Links to the pattern and materials will all be in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Now let's get started! For materials, I am using worsted weight acrylic yarn and a total of 270 yards or 146 grams. I am also using an eye 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle for weaving in ends. To begin, create a slip knot of your choice. Insert your hook and pull the working yarn to close that slip knot a little bit. Now chain 187. To chain, yarn over and pull that working yarn through the loop on your hook. You're going to count your V's and this loop on your hook never counts as a chain. Once I get to 187 chains, I will meet back up. After you have chained all the 187 chains, we can now begin row one. Row one, we're going to half double crochet into the third chain from hook. So again, we're not counting this chain on our hook. We're gonna count one, two, three. To begin half double crocheting, yarn over and hold that loop on your hook with your first finger like this. Insert your hook into the third chain, grab your working yarn and pull up a loop. I now have three loops on my hook. Yarn over again and pull that loop through all three loops. And there we have half double crocheted one. This chain here at the beginning of your work does not count as a stitch. So if you were going to use a stitch marker to mark your very first stitch, you would put it into this first V here. Now continue half double crocheting one into each chain all the way back. Again, your half double crochet is yarn over insert your hook into the chain and I'm only grabbing one of those yarns on your chain like that. Grab your yarn and pull up a loop. I have three loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Once you get to the end of the chain, I will meet back up. Here I am at the end of row one. If your work is doing a little bit of this curly cue like this, that is totally normal. It's going to flatten out as you work. To begin row two, chain two, and turn your work. Now we're going to half double crochet back loop only into each of our stitches. We're going to have 185 stitches at the end of this row. To half double crochet back loop only, you're going to be catching only the back loop of the stitch. So you see we have these two loops, one on this side and one on this side. It creates a V. We're going to be catching the one furthest from us. So yarn over like you will for your half double crochet. Hold that loop on your hook with your first finger. Insert your hook from the top of the stitch, grabbing that back loop only. Grab your yarn and pull up a loop. There are our three loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. We're going to do this into each stitch all the way back. As we do this, the loop in the front is going to get pushed forward and create a texture. Once we get to the end of this row, I will show you how you can change colors in this pattern. So before we change colors, I just want to show you here we are at the end of row two and row two will be repeated until the scarf is of desired width. For my scarf, I went 14 rows and you can easily count your rows by just counting these spaces here. One, 
two. When you get to the end of the row, you're going to see this kind of roundness here at the end, but you see we only have one V at the very end there. So that's the very last stitch. If you don't catch that very last stitch, you're going to end up with a scarf that goes kind of diagonal because you're losing stitches. This chain two at this end here, and then again also at the beginning of your work, does not count as a stitch. At the end of each row, you will have 185 stitches. So now I will show you how I like to change colors. You can change colors however you feel most comfortable. So for my new color, I like to place a slip knot at the very end of it, and then start my very last stitch. So I yarn over, insert my hook into the last stitch, grab my yarn and pull up a loop, and then I stop. From here, I grab that slip knot with my hook and pull it through all three loops. And then with the new working yarn, I chain two and turn to begin my new row. And then from here, I just snip that other working yarn and I just tie these two together for now. And then you can weave them into your work. Again, from here, you want to just repeat row two until desired width. So here I have 14 rows done on my scarf. And again, you can count your rows by counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And I'm gonna just show you really quick how I like to weave in my ends. So as you see, I left some nice long tails here and then you just place the yarn onto your yarn needle and just weave it in. I like to weave it in as far as I can because then it has less of a chance of coming out. To add fringe on the end of your scarf, it's actually quite easy and simple. You're going to need a piece of cardboard or even a book of desired length. So I've got this piece of cardboard, it's about six and a half inches. You're then going to take your yarn and the cardboard and holding it onto the cardboard like so, you're just going to wrap. Once you have as many strands as you need, you just grab your scissors and cut it off. Then you'll fold these pieces in half like this. Put a hook through your work like so. Grab the looped end, pull it through, and then pull the tail through that loop. And then you can put as many as you like all along the edge. If you would like to put a pom-pom on the end of your scarf, you can do it just like this. Now, you can make your own pom-poms or you can buy them. So for myself, I bought these, but I've also made them, and I will link the video tutorial on how I did that in the top of the screen. So for these, I purchased them from Amazon, and they have a little stretchy loop in them here, and I'm just going to take a piece of yarn and loop it through that loop. Then I'm just going to grab the ridges in the scarf. So I'm going to start with this first one here and go all the way down. Then I'm going to grab one of those loops at the end and pull it all the way through. Then I just give it a tie like this. And if you want, you can just leave it like that so you can take it off if you like, or you can give it an extra knot. Then you can weave in these ends and your pom-pom is attached to the end of your scarf. I hope you enjoy making the easiest worsted scarf ever. To check out the three lengths to this pattern, please check out my Etsy shop or Ravelry shop. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Have a lovely crochet day, and I hope to see you again in my next tutorial. Bye!